Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Here a quick guide on how to tame save a ostrich mount in Soul Mask. And ostrich is uh, something that we'll get your hands on a bit later on in the game, but uh, more precise at awareness level 36 is when you can start to make the saddle for it. And ostrich is uh, quite a decent mount to have as you won't take any fall damage with it and if you jump off a cliff it will just glide all the way down until you hit the ground and uh, they can also take some heat as well making them perfect to use if you want to move around at the desert biome. And the desert is also where you can find them and as of now you can't see the rarity of the ostrich that you will get from the egg so it's all about the RNG here. And it's uh, quite easy to tame them. You basically want to find an ostrich nest and here you will find some eggs. And you will have to basically carry the egg home with you to be able to get the ostrich yourself. But uh, first you have to kill the adults that's uh, guarding the nest. And the easiest way is just to use a jewel blade or a spear in my opinion. And you just want to try and aggro one of them one at a time and just move in circles until you defeat them all. And then you can go ahead and grab yourself a egg and start your journey home. And it's really important to know that any attack to you while carrying the egg will destroy it. And at the same time it will also attract wild animals to you as well when getting too close to them. So you can still drop down the egg before you get hit though and fight off the beast that attack you and pick it up and then continue your journey. The best place I found is just a nest that's south of the desert portal and for me I have my base just next to the wetland portal so I can basically just grab an egg, go to the desert portal and teleport back home quite safely. If you don't have a base nearby one of the portals I would recommend you to make a small house and start to hatch the ostrich at the desert instead and then pick it up with a llama once the egg has hatched. And you will have to have the temperature right as well here. I'm at the wetlands and here I have to have two campfires. And if I put the egg between them, it starts the hatching process. So this might be different for you depending on where you want to hatch the egg. And uh, you can see on the egg as well here if it's too cold or too hot. The hatching process takes around an hour. And when the egg hatch, you want to add some food to it or to the feeding trot. They eat the white fruit, pumpkin, corn, banana, pineapple, peanut, quina, and lastly the ostrich feed. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you got any other questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!